What up, Raffle Ladies? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to answer a burning question that has been on the minds of many Guyanese, and that is the subject of a lot of politics and misinformation and disinformation. And that is, how much money did Guyana earn from the sale of oil in 2020, and how will that affect the value of the Guyana dollar? Stay tuned. So guys, during this year 2020, Guyana earned about 125 million US dollars from the sale of oil. And that money was deposited in the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, right? I've covered this before in a previous video where I explained um, the Fed, the Sovereign Wealth Fund, how the Guyana Sovereign Wealth Fund will work and how the money will be deposited in, you know, the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. And I've also covered a lot of the misinformation. I've also talked about the contract. And if you want to find out how I arrive at this calculation, you should go back and check some of those videos out, right? The video on explaining the contract with ExxonMobil and the Sovereign Wealth Fund and so on. But Guyana earned $125 million, somewhere around $125 million from the sale of oil in 2020. And that is not yet finalized because the last shipment is probably still in um, transit and the payment for that probably finalized in December. But by September, that is by the time this government took office, Guyana had about $95 million from three, the sale of three shipments of oil um, to US uh, purchasers. and. The final shipment, that is the last shipment for this year, uh, probably was the worst one that is most affected by the drop in the price of oil. Remember the oil fell to about somewhere around $16 a barrel around June this year, but it came back up and right now it sits closer to $40 a barrel, north of $40 a barrel. And so the last shipment might have been sold at around $30 a barrel. So based on the fact that we had $95 million in our account, the Sovereign Wealth Fund, in August 2020, and the last shipment, the forged shipment, probably sold at about $30 million a barrel, probably sold at $30 a barrel and therefore brought in about $30 million we now have about $125 million in our Sovereign Wealth Fund. That is 95 plus 30 million is 125 million. So that is how I arrived at $125 million. The question is, how did this, or how should this affect our, um, the value of the Guyana dollar? So I've actually made a video previously where I explained that the value of Guyana dollar will rise after March 1, 2020 because that was a date for which the sale of oil would begin it actually began a little sooner a little earlier than that probably around February I think was when we shipped our first shipment of oil and since then we've earned a hundred and twenty five million dollars in um, profits from the sale of oil so how did that affect the value of Ghana oil? well the value of Ghana oil has actually sunk about three dollars uh, against the US dollar since then, since January um, of 2020 to now, the value of the Ghana dollar went down from about 210 to 213 or 213 to 216, depending on whether you're using cash or um, electronic transfers. So the value of the Ghana dollar has not yet begun to rise, and that led me to um, release a video which I also uh, will draw your attention to previously where I list the factors that will determine the value of the Guyana dollar. And it's not just how much money you earn, it's things like the political stability of the country, it's the economic stability of the country, it's the kinds of investments that are made based on the um, earnings, it's the robustness of the economy, in other words, the inflow of investment because the money you earn from oil is not what will drive the value of Guyana dollar going up but the growth of the economy because that money is seed capital to attract further investment right it creates kind of a foundation a base 
and quite frankly we have not yet begun to establish that base I find quite frankly find that the current government does not really understand how the economy is supposed to work in terms of this money being used as seed capital to fuel future growth of the economy and that future growth of the economy and the stability that comes from that growth is what will drive down the um, the exchange rate in other words will increase the value of the Ghana dollar right now, I'm going to discuss this more in detail in future but just to point out that right now we're sitting on about hundred and twenty five million US dollars in um, foreign exchange from the earnings that is earnings from the sale of oil in 2020 and for those of you who are um, arguing that uh, Ghana will lose money for the first 10 years or Ghana will not earn any money um, because ExxonMobil is going to rob us and all this nonsense that has been part of the political campaign and the disinformation and misinformation the fact is Guyana now has about hundred and twenty five million dollars in profits from the sale of oil in 2020 and we can expect more of that in 2021 and so on so that's my um, take on the current situation with oil in Guyana if you want to see more content like this click like and subscribe in the comments below <laughs> tell me what you heard about the sale of oil and the um, sovereign wealth fund and the earnings that Guyana got or gets or expected to get in 2020 and tell me if this um, agrees with your calculation your estimation if you have been following this it's a pity that this information is not being released by the government so I have to do my own calculations but based on um, confirmation that I got from previous um, snippets coming out in the media this is about right right we're about 125 million dollars Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in Georgetown, Guyana. Later!